All right. Shit, maybe we should um, lay down a freaking egg before we forget. Yeah, let's come on up here and lay down an egg. Now look, Gordon, this is my egg method. This is a pretty damn good strategy, I think. And that is, when you go to explore a place, we're just going to... Jeez, Gordon, pay attention. Stop hitting that fish. We lay down eggs. Oh my god, Gordon, you've become an egg. Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa, Gordon! Holy shit! Oh my god, now I'm learning from you! Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Morrowind Mondays! Hopefully you're having a good one. I know I'm, I'm having a pretty good one. It's a little chilly. Hopefully, uh, you know, there, there's been a lot of, like, super thunder snowstorms going on uh, around the, uh, the eastern part of the states. You know, I, I probably really shouldn't be talking about sort of like a... a geog oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! Oh gosh! We are <laughs> I don't know why I'm even doing this. We could just warp out. But, uh... Anyway, I shouldn't be really be talking about uh, locations and stuff, because, geez, folks could live anywhere. Gosh, I don't keep up with uh, the weather and freaking, um, and, well, <laughs> most places, honestly. Most places, unless there's some horrific uh, thing that occurred. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go on back to talk to Old Nabani Mesa. Back at the old Urshalaku camp. Actually, you know what? It's probably best if we just recall, huh? Rather than Elm CV. Let's recall back to uh, our old home, the hearth, Bal Isra, and head on up north to the Urshalaku camp, have some words, find out about all sorts of fun stuff, get our um, who's the what's it going with the main quest. Oh my gosh, check out this load screen. <laughs> Fingers crossed that's not a crash. Whoo, there we go. Whoo, my goodness. Look at that. It's because we have so much shit. That's exactly why it did that. Because look at all of our dumb bullshit. Also, we have an entire room of, like, moon sugar upstairs. So that can't cool. be great. <laughs> Gosh, this is fucking stupid shit. All right, actually, let's rest up here for a bit. Let's rest up, get some magicka, because you know what? We're going to want to uh, use our old friend Mario time, right? Let's heal up. I like how we have just one hand that's like weak as hell looking, and then this other one that's like the fist of Satan, Lord Dagon himself, right? Good God. All right, now also, another thing that I was thinking of, um, in between these videos, here, let's, let's wait until it's nice and beautiful out, right? Let's see, let's go for about, uh, seven hours, right? But I was thinking, remember when we were sleeping out in, um, Vivek Land at What's-Her-Name's, uh, room? Oh gosh, I can't even remember her room, but remember when we went out there and we got attacked by a faceless man? I got to thinking. Once we do this uh, little thing where we turn this shit into Nabani Mesa for uh, learning about all the lost prophecies and stuff. Gosh, look, it's a beautiful time of the day. The gold... Oh my gosh, do we have the thing equipped? Oh, yes, we do. All right. But um, it is the golden hour, as they speak, which has nothing to do with piss, but everything to do with the beautiful golden sun. Well, I guess in, in Vardenfell, it's a little, like, uh, pinkish red. Shit, look, we really done it that time, didn't we? Anyway, I'm thinking that na once we turn this in at the old Urshalaku camp, let's see, we actually go and raid some of these freaking a-holes who keep attacking, right? We do our duty as, as the Nerevarine to be, right? We do our, our duty and wage fucking war on the devil Dagothur, right? They call him the Devil Man. He lives down in the mountain land. My gosh. And we're going to give it to him. We're going to give it to some of his forces. We've already done some of that. As we've seen in old Hasur. Remember that? When we uh, cleared out Hasur down there by the um, Bamora area. And then, oh my gosh, all the folks in Palagiad who were cursed by Dagothur's uh, ancient taint. His sleeping taint. Uh, they were A-OK, -okay, as it turns out. They, they became totally fine. And you know what? We need to do that for the rest of these places. So guess what I've done beforehand? I've done a uh, lookup. I've looked up where exactly they are. So that way we can uh, not fuck around and we can straight up get in there and fuck them up. Oh gosh, look at this. This is, this is hell. This is hell right now. Huh? There we go. Woo. Jeez. Sometimes the, uh, the old super jump is, is real... Uh, it's real touch and go, isn't it? My gosh. All right, we're almost there. Old Urshalaku, here comes the Nerevarine bounding over the mountains. 
Gosh, look at that. That is fucking gorgeous, isn't it? Oh my god. That's prob- that's definitely gotta be, like, one of my favorite, uh, sort of, um, landscape portraits in Old Morrowind, is the sun rising, uh, over the Ashlands, as you can see all of the, like, spires, or cairns, or whatever the hell you call them, just poking up in the dead trees. Oh my gosh. It's fucking beautiful, isn't it? Alright. Let's ho head on over here. Let's see if we remember, um, where Nabani Mesa hangs out. She's- is she the wise woman? I can't even remember. There we go. Let's- let's try. Hopefully they don't get pissed as shit, because, you know, it's- it's very taboo to just walk on in here. Alright. Hey, what's up, Nabani Mesa? Go ahead. Do you have questions about the Navarine prophecies? Or other questions to ask me? Or do you bring me news of the Lost Prophecies? Yeah, I got some. I got the Lost Prophecies. You have these Lost Prophecies? You will tell me these things over and over until I have them by heart. And then you will tell me what these priests say, what they see in these words. And then you must leave me. Hunt, sleep, train, feed. Oh, this is perfect. We'll, we'll definitely feed off of war. Off of the war against the Sixth House. This is perfect. Learn the land. I must bring these things into me. Ugh. And place them before my ancestors. Huh. And listen to them. And to the skies and stars of my dreams. And then, when the moons have come and gone, return. And I will give you my judgment. Man, Nabani Mesa sounds fucking cool whenever she talks, huh? Alright. Should we talk to her about this again? You have told me of these lost prophecies. Alright, the Nerevarine prophecies? I will give you what counsel I can, but I can only see what may be, not what must be. Oh, damn. Let's see, what does she have for trade? Nothing much of import, huh? All right, fair enough. Let's get the hell out of here. This see you, Nabani Mesa. Us. Oh, Please. thanks. Man, good old Nabani Mesa. Love the Urshalakus, my gosh. I... I it needs to be said over and over again how much I love their fucking architecture, along with the uh, House Rhetoran, all that shit. I love fucking using bugs and stuff. Anyway, so first up on the list I've written down on the handy dandy notebook, we can go to either Ask Emu or Subdune. <laughs> We're pretty close to Subdune, so perhaps we will do Subdune first, which is... If uh, the handy dandy notebook is to believed, and hopefully it is, it's down over yonder, right south of the Coal Cave. You know what? When we get to Coal Cave, should we try and fight our old fucking nemesis? The, uh, the ruddy man himself? Holy shit, I think we fucking should. I think we're about to knock knock on the ruddy man's door and bang it down and smash his ass all over the place. That sounds bad. That sounds real bad. <laughs> maybe maybe not, not quite as harsh as that, but we will definitely own them up big time here let's wait a bit uh get our our juices back and flowing oh whoops my bad yeah we're actually just waiting jeez i'm 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 going back and forth between uh, oblivion and morrowind and the mechanics are all becoming a blur holy crap the lines are becoming blurred everything is becoming one the singularity of the elder scrolls coming to a to a uh, the advent horizon everything is is coming forth oh my gosh oh it's like the end of um <laughs> a space odyssey where fucking what's his name is just like blowing his fucking mind by seeing all this wild shit look i think that's actually it right over there my gosh i think a lo the very first time we came here to colt cave to go uh do some pilgrimage work we saw that over there and said you know what we'll p look at that we'll we'll put it off until later look at that fucking ruddy ass man right there all right let's head on in here and fight the ruddy man look it's finally time to get his enchanted chest Mmm, his magical, magical chest. I'm excited as hell for this. Alright, let's head on inside. We should probably rest once we're in here. That, Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I forgot that the pilgrim was still here. Oh my god, I thought it was like yes, a sleeper dreamer. How do you do? Dude, what are you still doing in here, man? Dude, do you just live in here with the ruddy man with the drags? Oh my god, do you think he like shits in the bloat spores and stuff and eats these shrooms? It is truly a pleasure to see you, dude, man. Holy shit. Deval Beleth, you... You're fucking wild, dude. You're the wild man, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna take some of your flowers, though. Look at this. They're beautiful. I love them. Alright, let's... Oh, shit, we can't even... Look, it's... is it because he's here? This is his domain? Here, let's rest up here. My god, I'm excited as hell to finally give it to the ruddy man. After all the... these times of him giving it to us... Whew, man, it's gonna be good to finally get fucking even. I swear to god, if he... 
If he just blasts our ass again, though... Well, shit, there's just no fucking hope, is there? Let's see, do we actually need to do something here? Yeah, we already did all that. It's good to go. Alright. It was like some sort of, like, high dreg god. The dreg god. The dreg executor. My gosh, or is that a... Is it, is it executor? Executor? One of those is a Pokemon. My god. Look at these weird-ass, like, cattail seaweed things. Jeez. Now, I'm thinking, at the end of this one, we should definitely do a little bit of freaking reading, right? We should just do... Ooh, look. We can possibly get some pearls. Because we've got those two books. We already know about the prophecy, so it's A-OK -okay that we've traded that off. We're all too familiar with them, in fact. Look, is this a body that we have searched before? Look at this. Our head is clipping through the damn ceiling. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Dead adventure. Have we looted you before? You have a steel flame axe? Wow, I don't know if we have. A master's probe? I feel like we would have definitely taken that. Let's see. These things worth really anything? Eh, no, not really, huh? So we're just gonna leave it there. F that. Who needs that? Not me. That's for damn sure. But yeah, I think it, it'll be good to read, um... Read all these things at the end. Those two extra books. I think we have, like, some other ones lying around here. Let's actually swip, swip swap to the local map. Oh, look. It's all become, um, covered up and shit. All right. Let's see. Do we have any good water-breathing stuff down here? Actually, here's a question. If we drown ourselves, does our health regen faster than, than we, uh, drown? That'll be good to know. Because we have our, um, we of course have our regenerative, uh, amulets on. Let's see. Oh, shit. We don't need to give a two, two fucks about all this, do we? All right, let's quick save here and just go looking around. Huh, awesome. I mean, it is, it does feel kind of weird. Here, let's maybe eat a Luminous Rasula. There we go. Feels, I don't really like the idea of just going around and constantly drowning, having like a, a uh, like Weapon X situation where I'm just constantly in a state of regenerative. Oh, shit, is this it? Is this the writing man? Oh shit, it was! Fuck you, Ruddy Man, you didn't even get to fucking attack! You dumb piece of shit! <laughs> fucking ruddy ass man! Oh god, what an idiot. What a fucking idiot. Look at this. Small callop? I thought they were called scallops. Alright. Well, sure, I'll fucking take it. Let's see. Oh gosh, this place is actually pretty dang big, isn't it? Jeez. Look at all this shit around here. There's really even nothing inside of this. Let's see, is this is the area? Yeah, there's no ruddy man here. We'll just leave a whole bunch of super, uh, fucking warlord dudes. Oh shit. Is it the ruddy man Mark II? No, it's a slaughterfish. Good lord, could you imagine that? The ruddy man Mark II? Holy shit, he just has like 12 other ruddy men, like, glued onto him. He's like some sort of horrific tentacled, betentacled horror. Oh my gosh, just like some Cthulhu ass bullshit. Jeez, you know, I gotta say. The the whole Cthulhu shit, it's wearing on me. It's it's I, it shows up everywhere, and a lot of times it's it, I don't think it's that great. I think I think we need to chill out as a culture on having Cthulhu shit everywhere because it's it's making it less impressive. I think um, in recent memory, the the last thing that I thought really did it well was um oh gosh, what was it? Darkest Dungeon? Is that the the one that um that really difficult um, side scrolling sort of RPG? Oh, a dead body. Nonetheless, I think that's it. Darkest Dungeon. That did uh, the C Cthulhu bullshit pretty well, but my gosh. There's like a limitless supply of just like, Ooh, Cthulhu! Pretty spooky, huh? And it's like, yeah, Eat my dick, Cthulhu. I don't give two shits. Alright. Let's, uh, oh shit. We cannot actually get some magic. We're just gonna have to pop a couple pots. We can pop bottle like bottles like it's all free. Owning it all up. Yucky girls smoking weed. Damn. All right. What else do we have up in here? I could have sworn we were supposed to get, like, a magical chess piece from the, the Ruddy Man, like, the gift of the Ruddy Man. Jeez. But I suppose he's decided that he fucking hates us and doesn't want to give us his fantastic boon. Look, we're even going the wrong direction. We're getting all mixed up in here. Gosh, the Ruddy Man's last parting curse. Right as we go right by his fucked up asshole. Look, he already has... Look at his hands, dude. He's got four of them, but what is this? Is this one hand just normal? What the fuck? I've never really looked at a ruddy man that long. I keep, why do I keep calling him a ruddy man? Dude, he has one normal dude's hand! What the fuck? Oh my god, is this like a... a Sector 7 sort of situ- well, 
District 9 situation? Oh my god! Are the- did the dregs used to be people? What the fuck? How come he only has- Oh, that's fucked up. He has a human hand. Why does the ruddy man have one human hand? Oh, that is foul. That is some foul shit. I feel like we're- We're coming up on some fucking ancient conspiracy. I mean, already we know that there's some ancient-ass conspiracies involving, um... Vivek's dealings with the ruddy man himself. And all of his dumb bullshit. Good lord. I can't remember if that was actually brought to light in this game, or if I'm misremembering it and conflating it with what occurred with, like, some stupid book that I read in, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. The, uh, Morrowind expansion. Because, damn, you know I couldn't resist that shit. Got me hook, line, and sinker. Like a fucking fish. Like a slaughterfish. Damn. Alright, let's look around here. Anything else? I'm not seeing anything, dude! Except some fucking little fish boy. That's fine, though. Alright. We gotta be careful with the fish boys, though, you know? Folks, uh, they're, they're Oscar material, honestly. <laughs> Gosh, I need to see that movie, The uh, the Shape of Water. I need to see that shit. Damn. Alright. Like, I mean, come on, who doesn't want to see a lady get it on with some kind of fish dude? I mean, I sure shit want to see that. Fucking hit me up, GDT, right? Fucking old Guillermo del Toro bringing out the hits, bringing out the big ones. Damn, dude. All right. Oh, gosh. Oh, shit. Are we over encumbered? No, we're just... Oh, no! The last curse of the ready man! Oh! Shit, we're stuck! Oh, my God. And we're just constantly regenerating, so we can't ever get the hell out. What the fuck? The curse of the ready man is real! What the shit, dude? Oh, my gosh. Can we, like... If we go into walk mode... Here, I'm trying to go into walk mode now, too. Look at this. We're stuck on the ruddy man's tainted seaweed hell! Oh, shit! Look at this shit! Oh my god, I can't fucking believe it. The ruddy man got us. Gosh, here I am, hook, line, and sinker again. Who's the real fish in this situation? Apparently me. Getting stuck. Oh, shit. Alright, you know what? It's time to bring out our true power. The power of the gamer. <laughs> That's right, I'm here to game. Here, let's bring out the console. Do a little TCL, baby, you know what I'm saying? Oh, whoops. Can't even do it correctly. There we are. <laughs> you know how it is. You have your keyboard, you're doing the whole WASDA situation. You, you start to lose track of the home row, right? There we go. Whew, back in action, right? All right. Oh, gosh. Is there a ruddy man up in here? No, it's a slaughterfish. All right, fair enough. Jeez. Fucking... The ruddy man is real pissed as shit, apparently, at my bullshit, isn't he? Let's see, let's look around in here. There's a big old scallop, or collop, callop. Yeah, a collop. Huh. Maybe that's like a Morrowind thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb as hell. I mean, I've never really exactly gone diving for, for pearls and bullshit like that. It seems pretty dangerous. It seems pretty damn scary. Alright, well, you know what? I have no idea how we're supposed to get this ruddy man shit going on. But, uh, I feel like, you know, it's, that's a full clear, right? I feel good about that. We finally killed our, our captor. Let's see. Maybe we need to go in here and do a donation. And then, check it out. Um, oh. That's about Nabani Mesa. Okay. Oh, do we actually have it now in our inventory? No, what the hell? Where's the ruddy man's chest? Where is the ruddy man's chest? Is he going to spawn in here? Is the ruddy man going to appear now that I've donated to his dark cause? Shit, dude. Ruddy man, ruddy man, where are you? Ruddy man, ruddy man. I wanna get your chest? Hmm. Huh. Shit, dude. This is messed up. This is real messed up. We're just gonna do a quick-ass swim through and look for this ruddy man bullshit. My gosh, you think you know a thing or two about the ruddy man? And it turns out he just shows up in a fucking flash of light and smoke screens your ass and tells you about all of his magical tales and blows your fucking mind. And you just have no idea what the fuck's going on. Apparently. Let's see, there's no ruddy-ass man in here. Where are you, ruddy man? Jeez! The ruddy man is fucking not playing by the damn rules at all. I'm here looking for ruddy man loot, and the ruddy man is not ready to deliver. And look, what is his ancient shrine here doing? What's up with this? Shit, man. All right. Well, let's head on out, I guess. Or should we go back down that one other area? Maybe that's what we need to do. And maybe we've just really fucked up this questline. Maybe that's exactly what happened. We just fucked it up royally. 
by, like, slaying that ruddy man there without doing a donation or whatever the hell? Who the hell knows? Not me. I'm not some kind of drag expert. But as it turns out, maybe there's, um, there's reason to be. Let's see. No. There's no fucking ruddy man. Was that not the ruddy man? The dreg warlord? Shit. All right. I'm getting out of here. Damn you to hell, ruddy man. This is the last time you've made a fool out of me. Damn it. Fucking ruddy man either kills me, doesn't show up, doesn't give me his amazing chest? Jeez, what an ass. What a complete ass. Let's drink a potion. I'm pissed. I'm pissed as shit. I'm drinking pots. Oh, great. Look. The sixth house employing the use of cliff racers galore, apparently. Jeez. Oh, gosh. These cliff racers don't even want a tango quite yet. Look, now they're coming down. Now they want to fuck. All right. Fair enough. Let's go, dude. Ugh. Look at this. We're doing co community service out here by getting rid of these cliffies. Ugh. There we go. Nice. Gosh, our weapon is so fucking dope, isn't it? Alright, let's quick save again. And let's head on inside to Subadoon. It's probably like Subadoon or like Subdoon. I definitely want to say Dune, but uh, I feel like that is definitely not the case. Alright, let's whip out Kajito Vision. Thank you. And, now that we're actually in a big-ass dungeon, let's get our old pal Gordon out! Gordon, I'm glad you, you weren't there to see the bullshit that went down with the Ruddy Man. Because honestly, Gordon, that would have scarred you for life. You would have been fucking afraid as hell of all Ruddy Men in the future. And let me tell you, Gordon, you can't pass down- oh. For fuck's sake, Gordon. <laughs> for fuck's sake, Gordon! Jesus! <laughs> Gordon, you can't pass down these genes to your offspring, because in the future, my offspring, Lyle of the future, will have to... Well, I don't know. How, how long is it between um, the events of Morrowind and Oblivion? Because ne the Nerevarine is still alive. He's not really the, the, the descendant. I mean, maybe the family tree sort of splits a long ways off. And it's like a fourth cousin twice removed or some sort of situation like that. That's what I'm going with. Gordon, I know that that is definitely not the case for you. I know that you fucking... Uh, you Gordon types. <laughs> you Gordon types. <laughs> you you guys love to fuck a shitload. In the uh, cosmic grand strategy that is Morrowind Stellaris Edition. My gosh. Gordon, he's got rapid reproduction. And that means that, holy shit, Gordon's great-grandson will eventually help out our character in Oblivion. And it's gonna be gr great. It's gonna be... <laughs> I was about to say, it's gonna be Gordon. It's gonna be Gordon as hell! <laughs> Look at this fucking joker. Look at this guy. The sixth house didn't stand a fucking chance. Honestly. Look at this. Even shooting, like, fucking Elsa bolts at us? Jeez. Get out of here. Let it go, baby. Alright, let's... <laughs> let's see. What what all do we have over here? Oh, huh, look. We have to actually walk in here because we're going too fucking fast. Vin Diesel would be fucking proud. Ugh. Gosh, let's... Let's train. For fuck's sake. Gordon! Oh, there we go. Look at that, Gordon. How about that? Oh, shit. Look, they've got a fucking rat area. What the hell do you think they- Oh! What do you think they do in here, Gordon? Do you think they fight rats? Gordon, you know what that means. I'm gonna send you in. You're my rat, Gordon! Fight for me! Fight for me, Gordon! Get in there! Fuck him up, Gordon! Yeah! Fight the rats! What? Fight the rats, Gordon! Fuck him up! Gordon, you're fucking useless. Damn it, I'm coming down. All right? This is just like that one arena. Look, oh shit, these rats are peaceful. <laughs> these rats are fucking peaceful. Oh, jeez, these are aqua rats, just like before. Oh my god. We, we're a fucking menace to the aqua rats. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, Gordon, I swear if you... Oh my gosh, Gordon, you're about to... <laughs> <laughs> the end of the Aqua Rats, Gordon! Come on, man! Jesus Christ. Oh, well. <laughs> you know what? I guess we're just made for each other, huh, Gordon? Ending the Aqua Rats like some kind of a fucking horrific asshole. Jeez, they're endangered as hell, and what do we do? We come down here and we shit all over them. Good God. Here, let's heal up here. Get some more, uh, Kajito Vision. Learn to fly. There we go. Kajito Vision activate, and Mario time, you too. Babuya! There we go. Man, love that. Okay. Let's see. Let's have a look around here. Uh, this is an area that we have not been to. 
It's a faceless man. Gordon, you want to fight this guy? Ooh, Gordon is appeared inside of him. Oh my god, Gordon. <laughs> At least ask him to dinner first. Jeez. Gordon, this is your training. Fucking excellent work, Gordon. Jesus Christ. You're fucking knocking him out of the park. I guess all those rat kills were fucking worth it, huh, Gordon? Jeez, you're fucking doing it. Doing daddy proud or some shit. Am I your dad? Gordon, am I your dad? I hope not. Ooh, jeez, I got some explaining to do. I must have fucked a, like, a Daedrith lady one time. <laughs> God. But you know what? Zero regrets. Here, just to mark that we've explored this guy's body. That sounds bad. Uh, we'll, we'll put down a halberd right there. There we are. Nice. Dope. Alright. Look at all this. They've got such a beautiful candle situation going on. How come nobody else has, like, a whole bunch of nice candles set up for when you come in to plunder their bullshit, right? I mean, come on, the Sixth House is really ahead of their game. They're really setting up the dungeon design. Jeez, maybe that's that's why the Sixth House just... They're, they, they're the fucking best. They know what the hell they're doing, dude. They're, they're not, uh... This isn't their first rodeo. Alright. Let's travel on through these little worm assholes. Let's see. Ugh. This is just like a big rubble room, I guess. Oh shit, is there some secret stuff over there? Oh, I think there might be. Look at that, is that a secret? Remember, you always gotta be on the lookout for secrets in these places, right? Here, let's... Let's down our potion of rising force. Let's see, we had one around here somewhere. Jesus Christ. The potion situation is getting real dire, isn't it? Let's see. There we go. Is there anything up here? No, it's absolutely... <gasps> Da 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 da! Oh my god! Fucking genius! Nailed it! Gordon, come here. I want you to see this. This is gonna be fucking great. Look at this. Let's probe the crap out of. Th <gasps> Wait a minute! The ruddy man has blessed me! The blessing of the ruddy man is mine! <laughs> yes! Oh, excellent. Fuck yeah. Everything is turning up Lyle today. <laughs> this sucker. Oh, look at that. Treasures of plenty. Shower me in gems. Oh, it hurts, but I love it. Oh, and Scathe Crow, another treasure. Oh, look, and a whole bunch of scrolls of bullshit. They're just going to clog up our inventory. I love it. Oh, brilliant. Oh, my gosh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, shit. We're still floating around. All right. Sure. Oh, let's get on out of here. Let's see. Oh, there goes our floats. Fair enough. Is there actually a secret up in this lava ass room? I don't think so. Is that actually a secret up there? Hot damn. I'm I'm now on the lookout for these like high up secrets. Look at this shit. I think that might be a secret up there. Look, I don't know if you can tell because of YouTube's bullshit ass bitrate. Oh god! Oh god! Oh. Okay, there was <laughs> there wasn't a secret. There was not a secret. But, um, gosh, if I tell you about it, about it, uh, the, um, the bitrate problem is very noticeable when you're looking at crosshairs. In all of my playthroughs, if you look right at the crosshairs, you'll notice sometimes they sort of, like, fade and fuzz away into the distance. Probably especially in here, because of, uh, all the texture work. That's because of the old YouTuber, the old YouTube bitrate limit, which is, uh, kind of fucking lame. Kind of sucks, especially as games get more and more, uh action going on when you're looking at them, man, it's gonna suck in the future. Eventually, maybe they'll up that bitrate, in which case, hey, hopefully, it's retroactive and they have all the old vid files on hand, and they just update all the ones that I actually uploaded as being like, oh, 25 to 27 bitrate. And that'll be dope as hell. But for now, whew, wow. What a fucking curse. What a terrible night to have a curse. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. There we go. Oh, the shrine. Oh, look, who it is. Jeez. Oh, Gordon, do you want to handle this? Oh, my gosh. I'm here just, you know, kind of complaining about bullshit. There you go, Gordon. Look at you. Just, like, hanging out in the fires of Balthazar. Good job, Gordon. My gosh. All right, I'll take care of the next few, Gordon. I promise. I promise. You don't have to do any more work. You've done me proud. Ooh, gross. Shit, why are these ones, like, glowing red? Ugh. That is nasty shit, dude. Let's play some music. Ugh. Nasty. Here, is there anything hidden underneath them? No, it doesn't look like it, does it? 
All right, let's just kind of, you know, stack them up here. Do some beautiful shit, huh? Let's make some art. There we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, we're making like cairns. Look at that. We were talking about cairns earlier. Oh, look, we're in the cairn business, baby. Look at that. Oh my gosh, beautiful stacking meat. Meat stacking. Call me a butcher, baby. Look at that shit. Oh my gosh, fresh meat indeed. Oh shit, where did it even go? I don't know. There we go. One of them has disappeared somewhere. Well, it's beautiful, I gotta say. It's fucking beautiful. Ah! Alright. Oh, look who it is. Another faceless man. Very well. Here, look. Ooh, jeez, I'm sorry, pal. <laughs> Grab his salts. Uh, let's actually rest up until healed. There we go. That way we get more magicka. That way we can see a bit more in the dark. Isn't that right, Gordon? You think Gordon can actually... Has, like, night vision? Oh my god, Gordon, check it out! There's a sexy babe in here! Holy shit! Oh my gosh. Sorry, babe. It had to be done. You were... You were a dreamer. It had to be done. You were going to give me a nightmare of some descript. Oh my gosh. More sexy people. Look at this. The altar of the sexies. Who is this? Is this the Lord himself? The Dark Lord? Doing his fucking running man jam? Look at this fucking idiot. How does the Sixth House even manage to do all this shit? Gordon, isn't this ridiculous? Look at this. <laughs> you damn idiot. Alright. Let's take him out. Jeez. Was that him? Yeah, that was their fucking leader, Dagoth Draven. Way to go, idiot! <laughs> Man, it feels good getting my ass beat in oblivion, because, you know, we're just starting out and it's fucking hard as shit. It feels good to come in here and just shit on everyone. Just, like, whip my trousers down and just take a big old steaming hot dump on, on Dagoth Draven's chest. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Draven. All right. What do we have up in here? More disgusting stuff. Speaking of taking a big shit on someone's chest. Ugh. Foul. Just a big old meat shit. Gordon, do you want to take these ash statues back to the plane of oblivion from which you came? I don't know. Maybe you can do some weird shit with them. I have no damn clue. But nonetheless, let's look inside here. Look, there's some treasures galore. Let's see. What do we have? An extravagant robe? No thanks. 2920, Last Seed. Ah, oh, isn't that the new game from, uh, <laughs> from the <laughs> CD Projekt Red? Uh, let's see. Amulet of Health. That's not really worth it, is it? Look at that. Restore Health 10 points, cast when used. Who gives a shit? We got constant effects better than that. No thank you. Let's see. Are there any other Woot Loots up in here? There's a small chest. A Bargain Potion of Night Eye. We'll just drink that right now. Why the heck not? Uh, let's see. Rising Force? Ooh, I wonder if there's actually a thing up in here. Huh. Gosh. What do you think, Gordon? Is there a secret place up inside this area? I don't freaking know, dude. Let's see. A Nordic Broadsword? Uh, that, I bet Gordon would like that. Too bad he doesn't have opposable thumbs or some shit. Cheap Rising Force. Expensive shoes. Expensive shirt. We still don't have an extravagant skirt, by the way. It may come down to a point where... We just need to look up where to get one. Let's see, anything good in here? Nope, just bullshit. Oh, goodies in here, though. And what about in here? Ooh, it's locked. Ooh, that that way you know it's got to be complete shit. Oh, no! 400 gold? Sure. I mean, it's not like we really need gold, but... Man, it always feels good to get some. Get that jingle jangle in your pocket, right? Damn, Gordon, you know what's up. All right, let's look around here. Any good shit? Any stuff hidden around behind these gigantic spires? Look at this, it's closing in like a... Like a big mouth. Like Gordon's mouth, actually. Jeez. Gordon, do you think they base this off of you? Do you think this is like a gigantic sculpture of you? Damn, Gordon. Maybe you can come stay here when you want to, you know, just have a big time chill out. I don't know, I think it's made and crafted in your image, dude. That's pretty damn nifty, huh? <laughs> yeah, look, Gordon's going for a fucking swim in his... <laughs> Gordon, you are dumb as shit. Gordon, why would you... <laughs> you just hear him getting punched by the lava. Just a thousand fists of lava fury are just pounding poor Gordon. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe he maybe he enjoys it. Oh, he's, he's died. <laughs> Come back, Gordon! Yep, back to the torture chamber that is living with me. <laughs> as it turns out, there is a place worse than Oblivion, and that's being my companion. <laughs> Alright, 
I think we cleared everything out, Gordon. I think that's absolutely everything. Right? Let's do a quick, uh, let's just walk out here in case there's something that we've missed. And we'll uh, be able to detect it on our way out. Oh, let's see. Let's heal up. There we go. Get some healing action going on. All right. Yeah, I think we got it all, huh? Yeah, it looks, it looks like we did, didn't, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Let's climb on up here just to be sure. Pretty sure we absolutely came up here. Yep. And we put the halberd there. And there wasn't a secret up here at all, was there? Oh, gosh. Is that a secret? No. Gosh, it's even hard for me to discern without the bitrate bullshit. All right. Yeah, I think we are A-OK -okay and good to go. All right, let's freaking finagle on out of here. Jeez. What did we even get from this one? I mean, I know we, we like, helped save the world by waging war on uh, the Sixth House. I mean, you know, that's a... That is truly a reward un unto itself. The greatest reward of all is the duty to the, uh, the, uh, the people of Morrowind, right? <laughs> but hey, what about some fat loot? Did we even get any fat loot? I don't think so. I think the only fat loot that we got was, like, scrolls and bullshit. I mean, yeah, we got, like, uh, what was it, uh, some gems? The, the ruddy man's chest? That's not from here. We got some scrolls? That's about it, dude. Well, dang. What a ripoff. Jeez, freaking Subdune? Damn, man. I mean, I guess eventually we'll get some rep by talking to the old, uh, the, the poor folks who were having nightmares, spooky dreams and all that stuff, right? All right. Let's see. Let's Elm CV out of here. On back to... Nisus. And let's get over to the next place that we have to go plunder the shit out of. It is... Ass Emu, which is out by Sidonine and the Hlalu Canton. Well, let's consult our big world map for where Ass Emu may be. I should be one of these little islands right freaking here. All right, let's see. Let's take the Strider on out of here, see where we can go. Let's see. Punibi, Yahaz, yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Take me down, oh look, take me down to the side of the city. Where the grass is green and the striders are pretty! Oh my gosh, did you see that they're remastering, um... Burnout Paradise City? Good lord. Honestly, the best car game of all time. Trip just of all time! Alright, let's quick save here, just in case some horrific bullshit befalls us. Gordon, do you want to come see all this? I don't know if you've ever been inside a Neen Cunt... <laughs> sorry! Sorry, inside a Neen Country. <laughs> and, uh... You know, it's it's beautiful, Gordon. It's a beautiful country. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, let's get on over here to uh, the old uh, the old ass emu. Alright. Jeez. Oh, we actually haven't been inside of this mine. We may do that on the return trip. Who knows? Could have some fun with that, right? Let's go on over here. Ugh. Jumping across these islands. Gosh, you gotta love this. This, this has a beauty all, all onto its own, doesn't it? Gosh, we were talking about how beautiful the uh, the Ashlands and stuff are. You know what? This has some charm to it just as well. There's some charm here. Damn. What do you know? Old Morrowind turns out to be pretty damn charming. Grab some Luminous Rasula as well. Just in case we have to go for some sort of swim. Look, the ruddy men are, are out there being fucking idiots again. Look, let's fuck this one up. Fuck you, ruddy man! Ruddy man Jr.? Damn. Get out of here. Oh shit, look. There's actually a boat here. Oh my god, that's fucking brilliant. Is this one of the smugglers' boats? Remember we heard about, um, this sixth house employing smugglers. And we saw a lot of that in Kogaroon, which is pretty fucking cool. But here, additional environmental storytelling if this is truly a sixth house smugglers' boat. Oh. What the fuck? It's all empty. Except for some salt rice! Hell yes, baby! Oh, and that sweet sugar! It was worth it. I think that's exactly what happened. I think that was definitely a fucking, um, Six House Smuggler ship, right? Let's see. Now, where is your foul cave at, you foul knaves? Your foul knave cave. Ugh. Ugh. Listen to that. It sounds like some sort of, like, platypus duck creature. Jeez. Oh, gosh. Let's jump on up here and end this cliff racer. Look at this. It's trying to collide or, like, peck peck the tree like some sort of woodpecking idiot. 
Ah, look, a, a, a ship. Oh. Let's check this freaking thing out, huh? Why the heck not, right? Let's see, let's delve on inside of this sucker. Oh shit. Is it the ruddy man? No, it's a slaughterfish. Alright, fair enough. Well, let's poke on in here. Uh, remote shipwreck. Oh shit, there is a ruddy man here. Alright. Shit, maybe we should, um, lay down a freaking egg before we forget. Yeah, let's come on up here and lay down an egg. Now look, Gordon, this is my egg method. This is a pretty damn good strategy, I think. And that is, when you go to explore a place, we're just going to... Jeez, Gordon, pay attention! Stop hitting that fish! We lay down eggs! Oh my god, Gordon, you've become an egg. Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa, Gordon! Holy shit! Oh my god, now I'm learning from you! Oh my god, the student has become the master! Holy shit, Gordon, look at you fucking jamming out there! Dude, that's some shit I need to learn! <laughs> fucking Gordon, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Gordon? Jeez, what are you doing to that fish? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus, alright, great job, Gordon. Holy shit, well, if you, you don't need to fucking learn this. Jeez, just do that everywhere you go, and man, you'll never forget, right? Holy shit. Put down a big old egg there. Right, let's put another egg on this end, that way I just don't even forget. Just make it so freaking obvious that we've been here by a double egg. You know what? Hell yeah. Let's go for three. Bam. Is that a hat trick? I don't remember. One of those is like a hat trick, right? That's what you call it. There we go. Get in the cabin. Uh, let's go... Kajito Vision. Gordon, are you in here too? Because it's pretty fucking crowded. Jesus, Gordon. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is a bit of a squeeze, isn't it? Alright. Is this a dreg? No, that's you, Gordon. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Man, this place is tiny. Ugh. Gosh, I don't think there's even any woot loot in here, Gordon. This is terrible. This is shit, dude. Let's get out of this cabin, Gordon. Pirate captains didn't have shit, man. Alright, let's head on inside the upper level. The hull. Maybe there's a... Oh, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of fishes in here. Gordon, is that you? Is that like your stomach growling? Did you hear that? It's like a low-ass rumble. Alright. Look, we'll take all that. Why the heck not? We can stow it away. Get all these barrels full of bullshit. Yes, please. Love some bullshit. All right. Oh, look! A worn Imperial key. Well, I wonder what that's to. Maybe it'll be inside here. Maybe we should try it out. Oh, gosh. Gordon, your legs keep scaring me. They keep making me think it's like a part of a ruddy man. Look at this. Floating crates full of nothing. Gosh, maybe they were full of food, but all the dregs came by and ate it. Man, the whole, like, gravity situation in here is freaking me the fuck out. I don't know, like, which way is up and which way is down. I can only imagine that's even worse for you, gentle viewer. Uh, because Jesus Christ. We just have to pay heed to, uh, the water level, and that'll be the way to tell. Good lord. This is, like, whew, jeez. Makes me never want to go into outer space, right? Because I'll just, like, my sense of direction will be blown away. Look at this. A corpse with a water-breathing potion. Well, I guess we'll just drink it right here, right now. Uh, bone meal with restore agility. Okay. Look at this. A secret crate back here with some iron armor. Okay. Well, we'll just put some pants out there just for people to look at and enjoy. All right. What about these crates over here? Anything good in them? It doesn't look like it, does it? All right, fair enough. Let's kind of whip on in through this uh, lower level. Any dudes down here who are pissed as shit? Gordon? Come to me! What is this? Well, this is some sort of trim on the ship. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see. What all is over here? A skelly man? Oh, shit! Is that 20 eggs? Oh my god! Gordon, we just hit the egg mother load! Holy shit, Gordon! We're never gonna be hungry again! Oh my god! Whoa! 20 more eggs! Holy shit! How many dungeons are we gonna be able to mark with this? Oh my gosh! You give a little love! And the world gives it back to you. Wow. It was because we did our secret egg ritual at the top. Gordon doing his spinning do and us laying down our triple egg threat. Hot damn. And that rewarded us with a shitload of large ass eggs that are just weighing us the fuck down. But eventually, <laughs> oh, they're going to be sitting outside of dungeons, baby. Oh, yes. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Wow. What a beautiful freaking day again. Man, the beauty just doesn't know when to quit, does it? My god. Alright, let's see. Where the hell even are we? 
Are we even on the right freaking island? I don't know, dude. I do not freaking know. You can hear the bunch of duckapusses screaming, perhaps mating, perhaps crying. Perhaps crying. My god, that is depressing as shit. I hope those ducks or platypi or whatever the hell they are are just at peace, honestly. I want them to be at peace. They deserve some peace after having to deal with all these crashed crashed ass uh, vessels and ships out here. Right, let's let's wait um, about 12 hours. That way it's nice out. There we go. Hopefully we don't get attacked by some asshole out here. Oh god. Well, we've ruined the beautiful day by resting. We've wet rested away the beauty of the day. My god. What a tragic curse. Let's see. Is it up over here? Jeez, this sixth house base really is elusive, isn't it? Huh. Hackle low. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Let's go on through this. Oh, man. It's like we're going back into the porno section of the VHS store, huh? Damn. Alright. How about this sucker? Are you alive? No, you are dead as hell. Oh, look. I bet this is it. This looks like a sixth house cave. Guarded by a mud crab, no less. And a little fish. Boom. There we go. Aw, oh, this is it. Is this Ass Emu? Oh, shit. It's not Ass Emu at all. Wow. Well, I totally did not uh, write that name down <laughs> correctly at all. I thought it was Ass Emu, but it's actually Ass... Assamanu. Assamanu! All right. Well, let's head on the fuck in and see who the hell's inside. Hello? Six house bastards, I'm here. And so is Gordon. Boom! Let's plunder the shit out of this place. Wonder how big this one is. Boom, gotcha. Look at this. Oh shit, this guy actually has some strength to him. But we stunlocked the crap out of him. Gordon, was that you or him? Jeez, man. Take it easy with the friendly fire there. I mean, you know I'm, like, practically invincible at this point, but, uh, still, dude, it, it it's painful. It's painful as hell. Let's see. Did we actually get everything in this little room? Let's swap to local again. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. Let's go over into this other, uh, wing. Hello? Anybody in here? Clarinet master? Very well. Teach me how to play. No lessons today. Cost too much. Alright. Oh shit. Look, is this another aqua rat training zone? Perhaps. Here, before we jump down there, let's go the other direction. Because that might be some sort of point of no return. Oh, look at that. I bet it loops around or something. Okay. You know what? We're dropping down. Drop and give me 20. Hell yeah. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, good God! Oh my God! The darkest darkness. Jeez, just like the book. Come on, Gordon. We gotta explore here. Gordon, I hope you have night eye, or otherwise you're probably just scared as shit right here. My God, good thing you're not wearing pants. That way you can just shit freely. Oh look, an indoor real shield. It's nearly broken as well. Oh my gosh, this is a dead ordinator. Holy shazbot! He's wearing some expensive pants. What happened to his shirt, though? What the fuck were they doing to him? Do you think they were trying to convert him into, like, a naked sexy man? Maybe that's what they were doing. Jeez. It's pretty telling that, uh, you know... Don't the Ordinators usually deny the existence of the Sixth House or something? Or play it down, at least? Look, an old key. Hey, remember when we found that freaking, uh... Who's the what's-it at the, um... At the ship and all that? We have a few keys that we have no idea what they're used for. Weird. And mysterious. Let's see, do we want his belt? No, it's actually a very heavy belt. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, good lord. Kind of zoom on down here. Surprisingly crappy weapons that they've got on, on hand, huh? Looks almost like this guy got hit by a big old boulder. Jeez. All right. Scope out this area. Hmm. Oh. Oh, look, yeah. See, here's like a sexy party. They were probably preparing uh, those ordinators for a sexy dance party, huh? Yeah, fair enough. I can respect that. You know, you'll love to have a good sexy dance party. Who doesn't? Some good shit. Six House, they love to jam. That's why they're all about the music, right? All right. Oh, and here we are. This is the, uh, we're getting, oh, no, wait, look, on the mini map. We're getting close to the jump zone, remember? Oh shit, is there a secret up here? Is there a secret up here? No, there's actually not. <laughs> Fair enough, okay, jeez. Damn. Alright, let's get the hell out. 
Let's see. Oh, shit. Look at this person. Maybe taking a dump? I do not know. Gosh, look at his head. Is that hair? You, do these dudes actually have hair? Wow, this guy actually kind of hurts a bit. Jeez. Maybe it's because both Gordon and uh, this fucking guy are trying to lay into me. And also this guy, apparently. Jeez. Everyone's here trying to get a piece of the Nerevarine. Look at Gordon powering the fuck up. Man, look at that. Leveling up our block as well. Jeez. That's something we really need. Oh, shit. Sorry, Gordon. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But that's some shit that we need to level up for sure. The old, um... Block skill? We're only at, like, barely 70 or some such, right? Alright. What do we have here? Iron Claymore? Just some bullshit. Alright. Anything up in this room? We're doing a little bit of scouting? Doesn't look like it. Fair enough. Alright. So now, let's see. Where does that go? The shrine? And also, the shrine. Okay, well, let's go plunder the shrine. Let's heal up as well. That way, you know, we have access to some more uh, Kajito vision when we're in here. Because, good God, we're going to need it. All right. Oh, shit, it's locked. Oh, we used the old key. Oh, shit, some corpus assholes. Ha <laughs> ha, I have immunity! Bam! Diplomatic immunity. Means I don't have to talk to you and instead can just slay you. Jeez, it's, it's pretty fucked up. We probably should have taken them down to uh, see old Devate's fear. Maybe we should tell Devaith Fear about all these uh, bases and he can, you know, raid them for his fucked up experiments or something. Maybe he can make, like, uh, weird sex slaves and concubines out of them all. I don't know. Devaith Fear, would you... Do you think he would probably want a whole bunch of concubines who have, like, clarinets for noses and, like, zero faces and they're all just, like, wearing these strange little loincloths? I think he would absolutely fucking want that, honestly. Fucking Devaith Fear top-tier party man of Morrowind, right? Oh, gosh. Let's see. Whip out the old Mario time. Oh, gosh! Look at that. <laughs> or like those fucking stop-motion music videos where it looks like the people are flying around, but they're really just jumping a whole lot. Jeez. All right. Oh, shit. Another key. A rusty key. All right. Fair enough. Oh, look at this. This truly is the party sex zone, huh? Oh, shit. They're calling me an Enwa. Got some corpus meat on that person. Boom. Dreamers no more. There's no escape. More corpus meat. All right. Let's whip out the uh, the old Kajito vision. Where does this go? Ask Manu. Oh, it probably goes to the... That's probably the uh, other uh, doorway that we saw earlier, huh? I feel like we're getting close to the end here. Oh, shit. Look at these. Oh, shit. This is a kind of a big one, huh? It's quick save here. Do you think that's Big Daddy... Uh, uh, Dagoth himself? One of the big Dagoths? I think so. Let's, uh, do a careful hop, skip, and jump. Ring-a-ding-ding! Knock-knock! I'm here to fuck! Let's do it! Oh, shit, where'd he go? Oh, here he is. Gosh, he blended in right in with the freaking wall. Gordon, to me! Whoops! There you go, yeah. Gordon again! There we are. Nice. Dope. Jeez, his electroshocks are a little bit spicy for me. But, uh, as it turns out, we're pimp as hell. We can just eat that shit right up. It's quick save. Man, there we go. We got them all. At least for now. Because I know there's a few uh, deeper yet up on the mountain. But, uh, you know, we're saving that for a, a, a different time. See, is, is there anything underneath these suckers? It doesn't look like it, does it? Looks like that is definitely a full-ass clear. All right. Oh, shit. No, yeah. We, we still actually need to explore the shit out of this room, don't we? Yeah. Far from a full-ass clear, huh? Look, they got another big-ass hammer here, but we've already got, like, two of them in our collection. We don't need any of that shit, do we? Nah, F it. All right. Let's heal on up. That way we can just Mario time up there instead of looking forever for a potion. All right. And let's see. Where should we try and aim to jump up? Look, that seems to be high enough ground. Boom! Oh, there we go. Excellent. Jeez, this one has quite the trap on it, doesn't it? All right, journeyman's probe. Do your worst. Boom. All right, used up the probe, but also got access. Look, can we do an apprentice lockpick? Holy shit, got an apprentice lockpick to unlock a 75-1. The robe of St. Rorus. Well, that seems pretty damn important, but it's worth absolutely jack shit. Taking it nonetheless. An exclusive rising force. All right, cool. I think that's everything up in here, huh? Gordon, do you see anything from down there? Do you see anything that we can possibly, uh, explore? I don't think so. I think that's everything. 
Unless I'm just missing something, I'm dumb as hell. But you know what? It's definitely something that happens a shitload. Alright. Well, let's speed on the hell out of here. Let's see where this puts us out. Probably that one that has the jump on it, right? There we go. Awesome. Oh, and the old key is used for that one. Gordon, can you jump? Can you do a good jump? Oh, gosh, I almost can't. I have to cheat and use... <laughs> Fucking Gordon cannot. I mean, he can do, like, a downward lunge attack for sure. We've seen that for for fucking ever. Jesus Christ. Can't even see the door. Oh, there. <laughs> it's a little further away. There we go. Whew! All right. Awesome. Well, holy crap. I suppose that does it for now. When next we come back, we will head on back to the wise woman of uh, Yor at the Urshalaku camp, and we will uh, we'll, uh, probably stow some stuff away at the, uh, the old Balizra. When next we come back, we'll probably be up in there. Uh, for now, let's actually just kind of hang out here and do a little bit of reading. Let's see. Let's rest for about uh, nine hours. There we go. That ought to be good. Let's hang out here by the water. I wait. Oh, shit. It's still a shitty day. Here, let's rest for five hours. Maybe it'll be a bit more beautiful out. Anything? No. Jeez. It's just nonstop garbage. I kind of want like a beautiful ass looking uh, sunrise sunset action. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, look. Is that Ebenhart over there? Or is that, um... Yeah, I think that is Ebenhart. Yeah. Wow, okay. All right. Well, if you aren't interested in hearing some of these books get read, uh, I'll see you next time. And if you are, well, holy wackadoo, here we go. Let's see. Let's start with, um... The Lost Prophecy, which we actually have... Have we read this one before? Yeah, we've read this one before, haven't we? Oh, but not the absolute details, because remember, he only gave us the, like, the, um, what do you call them, the cliff notes of it. All right. The Lost Prophecy, from the Apographa of the Dissident Priests, annotated by Gilvus Borello, Abbot of Halamayan. From seventh sign of eleventh generation, neither hound nor guar nor seed nor hera. We've heard this one before. But dragonborn and, star and far star marked, outlander incarnate beneath Red Mountain, Blessed guest counters seven curses. Star-blessed hand wields thrice-cursed blade to reap the harvest of the unmourned house. Notes. Lines one through three. Uh, so these ones. Dragonborn and Farmark Star. Okay. Of ancient family, but not of the four great Ashlander clans. Born under foreign stars and the sign of the dragon. The imperial sign. Ah... And line 4 through 5, which are these two. Outlander Incarnate beneath Red Mountain, Blessed Guest counters seven curses. Outlander Incarnate appears as a formal epithet, stressing the linkage between the world, the words. The Outlander Incarnate is a blessed guest, one not born of the tribes, but accepted as a guest with rites of hearth and hospitality. Under Red Mountain, he will confront and balance against seven curses. See the seven curses prophecy, which we know about. We talked at uh, we talked to Nabani Mesa, who told us all about the seven curses, right? Also, Dagoth Ur is served by his seven kin, once great wizard lords called Ash Vampires by the Ashlanders. Now, those were the other dudes who we were talking about, who eventually we're going to raid the crap out of once we go up into Red Mountain. We may have actually already killed some of them, haven't we? You know, when we went to Kogaroon? Was that one of them in there? May have been. Lines 6 through 7, which are the last two. Star Blessed Hand Wields Thrice Cursed Blade. Now, if you, uh... That, that seems pretty obvious, the old Wraithguard and, uh... Keening situation, right? To reap the harvest of the Unmourned House. Alright. Star Blessed suggests Azura, the Daedra Lord and Patron of Magic, Fate, and Prophecy. Thrice Cursed Blade may refer to a weapon called Keening, associated in certain legends with the Battle of Red Mountain and Dwemer Craft Lord Kagranak. Reap the Harvest is a reference to the proverb, you harvest from the seeds you plant, which means you get back what your labors deserve, in both a positive sense of reward and a negative sense of punishment. The unmourned house could be either or both of the Lost Great of the Lost Great Houses of the Dunmer. Lost er House Dwemer and House Dagoth. Okay. Very well. Let's cross that book off of our thing. That way I can remember to stow it away. Well, I guess it's not really even a book, huh? Let's see. Lost Prophecy. There we go. 
Uh, let's see. The Seven Curses. This should be one that we don't really need to read. Oh, look. Okay, so this isn't actually... Remember, what's-her-name actually explained to us um, in great detail, but this seems to be, like, more Cliff Notes from Gilvis Borello, right? From the Apographa of the Dissident Priest Annotated by Gilvis Borello, Abbot of Holomayan. Through the doors of the unmourned house, where scoffers scoff and schemers scheme, from the halls of the oath-breaking house ring seven curses of God's blasphemed. First curse, yeah, curse of fire, ash, flesh, ghost, seed, despair, dreams. Notes, lines one through three. This, these are the uh, opening ones? Okay. Through the doors of the unwarned house, scoff and schemer scheme, oath-breaking house. Ambiguous, may refer to the impiety of the god-mocking house Dwemer, or the treacherous diplomacy of the subtle house Dagoth, or both. House Dagoth, however, was reviled as oath-breaking for its treachery at Red Mountain. It may, however, refer to unspecified broken oaths and peace between Lord Nerevar and Lord Dumak, founders of the Grand Council. Nerevar and Dumak were loyal friends until the disagreements between the Dwemer and the other great houses broke out in open conflict. Line 4, the Dwemer were the mockers and profaners of the Divine. And that is, yeah, seven curses of God's blasphemed. Okay. And these are uh, explaining all the curses. Okay. Uh, the curses of fire and ash would come from Red Mountain, where Dagoth Ur rules. These were the earliest reported threats from Red Mountain. Uh, seven, curse of flesh suggests blight diseases, especially corpus. The fire and ash storms preceded the threats of blight and corpus. Very true. Uh, obscure, line 8 through 10, may refer to as yet unrecognized threats from Dagoth Ur. Okay. So, Curse of Flesh, what is after that? Ghosts and Seed. Ugh. Okay. And then 6th and 7th. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Recent uh, reports of soul sickness and disturbed dreams come from townsfolk and Ashlanders alike. That the seventh and final curse has begun suggests that the threat presented is about to reach a crisis. Dang. All right. Let's scratch that one off. Now, last time we already read Kagranak's tools because the other ones he gave us a summary of. But uh, for now, we've got these other books. I don't know if we've ever actually read them. But nonetheless, we'll do it just to knock them out, just in case. Let's see. Nerevar, Moon and Star. This is a selection from a series of monographs by various Imperial scholars on Ashlander legends. I don't think we actually got this one from what's his butt. We may have got these from Mara Milo or something. Anyway, in ancient days, the Deep Elves and a great uh, host of Outlanders from the West came to steal the land of the Dunmer. In that time, Nerevar was the Great Khan and war leader of the House People. But he honored the ancient spirits and the tribal law and became as one of us. So, when Nerevar pledged upon his great ring of ancestors, one clan under moon and star, to honor the ways of the spirits and rights of the land, all the tribes joined the house people to fight a great battle at Red Mountain. Though many Dunmer, tribesmen, and housemen died at Red Mountain, the Dwemer were defeated, and their evil magics destroyed, and the outlanders driven from the land. But after this great victory, the power-hungry Khans of the Great Houses slew Nerevar in secret, and, setting themselves up as gods, neglected Nerevar's promises to the tribes. But it is said that Nerevar will come again with his ring and cast down the false gods, and by the power of his ring will make good his promises to the tribes, to honor the spirits and drive the outsiders from the land. All right. Hmm. So this is all, um, yeah, selection from a series of monographs by various Imperial scholars on Ashlander legends. So obviously we know that the Ashlanders have this idea that um, Nerevar will drive outsiders from the land, which, I mean, in a sense it kind of happened, didn't it? But it, like um, the Red Year, I, could you construe that as driving outsiders from the land? Since all Dunmer, there were no native Dunmer at all, right? To, uh, to Morrowind, right? Because they're all, um, Chimer. And they came from, like, the Somerset Isles area, the 
the western coast of Tamriel? Is that right, or am I just full of shit? I don't know. Citation needed. Take that with a grain of salt. All right. Let's see. Uh, St. Nerevar is the next one that we'll be checking out. Let's see. Where is that? The real Nerevar. Eh, we may as well read that one, too. St. Nerevar. There we go. From a short temple pamphlet for Western readers. I love how it has these, because for these books especially, it's very important to know where you get the information from, because there's... Morrowind is filled with a lot of conspiracy theories and, like, false false information and shit. And I think that's really fucking dope. But it also makes it a pretty difficult uh, story to sort of, uh, um, what would you say, comprehend to uh, parse because of all the, like, false bullshit that you hear about. Anyway, uh, St. Nerevar. Uh, this is from The Temple. Ages ago, Nerevar was the greatest Dunmer general, first counselor, and companion of Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil, who, with the power of the great Ring of the Ancestors, one clan under Moon and Star, united the Dunmer houses to confront the evil Dwemer, the treacherous House Dagoth, and their western allies at Red Mountain. Now this so far kind of matches up, remember? By providence, the faithless Dwemer were utterly destroyed, and their allies defeated. But Nerevar, mortally wounded in combat with the traitor Dagoth Ur, was driven from Red Mountain. Now this is where there's some uh, discrepancies, right? Nerevar died not long after his wounds, but he lived to see the birth of the temple and to bless the unity of the Dunmer into the safekeeping of Elmsivi, the temple, and all of its communion of saints. And all of that is bullshit. As far as we know, that is bullshit now. All right, now the real Nerevar. Let's see. Oh, this one's actually pretty short. I was expecting it to be, you know, a book and be pretty big. Uh, the real Nerevar. This Telvanni retainer's informal history of Nerevar lists no sources. Hmm. When the Dunmer followed Veloth to Morrowind, they were many warring clans with no law or leader in common. One Dunmer warlord, Nerevar, had the ambition to rule all the Dunmer. In that time, House Dwemer were great enchanters, so Nerevar went in secret to a Dwemer smith and asked for an enchanted ring that would help him. The ring gave its wearer great powers of persuasion. For safety, it was enchanted to instantly kill anyone who wore it, except Nerevar. The ring was called Moon and Star, and it helped Nerevar unite the various clans into the First Council. Later, However, disputes over a religion divided the council with D House Dwemer and House Dagoth on one side and all the other houses on the other. Dwemer and Dagoth invited Orc and Nord clans as allies. Oh shit, did they? And held Northwest Morrowind. On Nerevar, oh yeah, holy shit, I think I remember reading about that somewhere. Not, not like in-game, but like on a fucking wiki. And held Northwest Morrowind. While Nerevar mustered the other houses and nomad tribes and marched to meet the Dwemer Dagoth Westerner forces. The armies met at Red Mountain, a Dwemer stronghold. The Dwemer were defeated, with great slaughter and terrible sorceries were used, resulting in the utter extermination of House Dwemer, House Dagoth, and their allies. Nerevar was killed in the battle, and his ring lost. But Nerevar's alliance survives in Morrowind's ruling political institution, the Grand Council. Ah, very interesting. So this is another um, thing that's, that makes it kind of iffy about um, the fate of how exactly Nerevar died. Pretty interesting. There's a lot of intrigue. And I think this actually, the, the idea of precisely how Nerevar was killed is actually left still up to... Um, um, like, player interpretation, I want to say. I want to say there's never actually anything definitive given. I don't know. It definitely makes it seem like there was some sort of backstabbing going on, right? Between uh, Nerevar and uh, Almsivi being Almalexia, Sothasil, and Vivek. Definitely seems like that was pretty likely. But it's, it's still open to interpretation. It'll be cool if uh, all this shit uh, appears in, like, a future game. Anyway, <laughs> geez, bunch of reading, but you know what? I fucking enjoyed it. I like reading about that shit. Uh, when next we come back, 
like I said, we'll head back to the Urshalaku camp. I think we've cleared out all of the six house bases so we won't have any spooky attacks in the towns, but they'll still probably yell bloody murder at us, just like that guy in Pelagiad. And you know what? I'm game for that. Sounds fun. <laughs> Till next time, peace. Peace.